We are determined that all plastic packaging in Sweden must be recycled. We are here in Mortola, at Europe's largest and most efficient recycling plant for sorting plastic packaging of the company Svensk Plastet Vinning. It has the capacity to sort all types of plastic packaging used by Swedish households. FTIAB ensures that the plastic is collected from the recycling stations, and through household collection, all the quantities have to be recorded. Before the plastic arrives at the recycling plant, it is compressed into bales at an intermediate plant. In order to determine how much plastic we're expecting to receive, the truck is weighed before and after it passes through the plant. The weight difference is automatically registered and entered into our digital system. We have the capacity to process 120,000 metric tons of plastic annually. At full capacity, we unload one truck every hour and process about 330 kilograms of plastic every minute, 24 hours a day. Every bale of plastic has a volume of one cubic meter, and weighs 500 to 600 kilograms. The sorting process is completely automated. The first station that the plastic packaging passes through cuts and collects the metal wires that keep the bale together. The metal is also recycled. The shredder disintegrates the bales, allowing the packaging to be sorted. For household recycling, people often put their plastic packages in large bags. The bags are opened in order for the packaging inside to be sorted. Sometimes there is metal mixed in with the plastic packaging, and this machine separates also the metal using strong magnets. Every week about 30 metric tons of recovered metal is sent to metal recycling plants. In the next step, the plastic packaging is sorted in a giant drum called a screening drum. Depending on the size of the plastic, it will be ejected through one of the differently sized holes in the rotating trommel, effectively sorting it by size. Once the packaging has been sorted by size, it is further separated into hard plastic and soft plastic in a two-step procedure. In the first step, ballistic separators are used where the heaviest material ends up at the bottom, while lighter materials move upwards. Thereafter, the plastic is further separated using a wind shifter, where soft plastic is sucked up and the hard plastic remains. Now we have reached the heart of the plant where the optical sorting named NUR takes place. Using 19 NUR machines, the plastic is sorted by type and color. The NUR sort 20 metric tons of plastic every hour, 24-7. In order to optimize the quality of the sorted plastic, the sorted material is looped back on itself and run through the NUR machine once more. The plant is extremely flexible and can sort the plastic into 10 different categories such as Colored plastic, transparent plastic, plastic film, PP, HDP, and PET. Sorting the plastic into different categories is an important part of giving it a new life. At this point, the plastic packaging has passed through every step along a total of 1.5 kilometers of conveyor belt and has been thoroughly sorted. In order to transport the plastic to our customers, we compress it into bales. Once it has reached our customers, who are the next step in the recycling chain, the plastic is washed and granulated in order to be recycled and used as the raw material for new plastic products and plastic packaging. The plastic that leaves our plant is of very high quality. The plant is up to twice as efficient at identifying and sorting plastic correctly compared to other plants in the industry. This means more recycled plastic packaging and less plastic lost to incineration. The people of Sweden recycle dutifully compared to many other countries, but we can still do better. Far too much plastic ends up being incinerated. On one hand, this is due to households not sorting all plastic packaging, but also due to the design of the plastic packaging. We love transparent plastic. The darker the plastic, the greater the difficulty of sorting it due to the near readers not being able to detect it. The same applies if the labels are too large and made of a different material. We help and support manufacturers to design their plastic packaging to be recycling friendly. You can read more about plastic packaging and design in our Guide to Plastic Packaging. We give plastic a new lease of life over and over again.